Hi, this is Scary Star being with Scary's Wide World of Mystery. Hi, Pisces. <laughs> I was trying really hard to conceal my excitement. Um, I can't tell you, it's classified. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys, some things you have to keep to yourself, right, Pisces? And I decided that since it's Pisces season and this full moon opposes our sign to do a reading for us because why not? Let's just treat ourselves, right? <laughs> treat ourselves right. There you go. <laughs> See? Channeling already. <laughs> Without realizing it. <laughs> um, I'm so happy, guys. Um, I have some very wonderful people in my life, and I am so grateful for that. You know, it's, I, it only takes, like, a few people to really raise your, raise your hope in humanity, right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, happy birthday to my friend that I will call Gotham. Um, that's my nickname for him, whether he knows that or not. Uh, <laughs> he knows. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's probably true too. But, sorry guys, I've got too much chatter going on in my head at the moment. All right, guys, can we have a productive conversation, please? Productive conversations right now. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Aw, I ruined the vibe. No, I'm just kidding. Now it's not fun anymore. It's work. Oh, no. What did we do? Okay, so this is part of the message they said. It's time to make things fun again, Pisces. Even our work has become not fun. All right. And we're usually the sign that can have fun doing anything, right? There's no point in not having fun, in my opinion. Hell, when I do the dishes, I'm not really doing the dishes. I'm somewhere else. I've gone to another place, and doing the dishes is a great way to look like I'm on Earth, right? <laughs> to look like a proper Earthling. Do the dishes and then astral travel wherever you'd like. Anyway. <laughs> Am I exposing us too much, Pisces? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I've been to some amazing places recently. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want to travel, buddy, so bad. I want to show some people some places, you know? I do. I do. It's pretty crazy. There are places where um, they hardly have a need for hospitals. Like, of course, people get injured sometimes. But they hardly have a need for hospitals in this dimension because everybody just focuses on what makes them happy. And some of the things that make me happy is taking care of my family taking care of me, taking care of people that I love. I don't know. Going to other places. <laughs> I have some really cool kids, guys. I have some kids that are really cool. Like, I birthed some pretty good humans. I like them. But, you know, that that's been, like, one of the things that is kind of gotten me a little downhearted is because I don't know how to protect my kids from this world, you know? And I have this, I want to, but at the same time I realize that they have to learn through experience. And if I, if I deny them the experiences that will shape them into the people that they're meant to be, then you know, I'm only prolonging the growth process, right? I 
It just means that they'll have to go through that later in life when it's probably going to be harder because, you know, people tend to become very rigid and set in their ways at a certain age. All right. And I would say that that age is right around 30. If you're not careful, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so change becomes harder. Growth becomes harder as we age. So it becomes more permanent as well, okay? It's the process of getting fixed, right? First we have cardinal energy, the starting point. Then we have mutable energy where anything's possible. Then we have the fixed energy when things manifest into reality. It's the natural order of things. Cosmic order, I suppose. If that's what you want to consider it. It doesn't really matter to me. I mean, we are all a part of this nature, everything, a mini universe or a universe unto itself. So, you know, you get to a certain point where you really revere all life. All lives matter, you know? But, you know, the nature of some things is some things must die. Some things must die, guys, in order for a stronger, newer, more fixed version manifest, right? Death is, a natu is as natural as life is. And it's a process. We come here to this physical reality to learn things of the physical nature, the physical sense, we leave this reality in order so that we may um, heal from the last life that we had, right? We need to heal, we need to process what we learned, um, integrate it into our soul and our being, and then manifest it into physicality right again until of course we've learned everything that we can learn from this physical plane and then we move on to a different dimensional reality where we can learn some more about a different kind of I, I want to say a different kind of physicality but or a variation of physicality right or an aspect of physicality because Things can be real and be a real and physical presence, whether we see them or not, right, guys? So, yeah, make sure you protect your space right now, Pisces, because you're getting a huge download upgrade, all right, ginormous. like so epic in proportions you will not recognize yourself by the time that this is over all right no one will recognize you you'll be unrecognizable and that's you know that's the way of life we have to recognize ourselves we have to recognize ourselves before we manifest that self into reality. So recognize yourself, Pisces. Remember who it is that you are. Remember. That's what you came here to do. Is learn about and remember yourself on all levels. Don't forsake yourself. Ever. Don't forsake your own self.
I am not getting any cards yet, guys. I'm sorry. I guess this has just been a channeling for over 10 minutes, but I think it's been something that's really, really, um, really necessary information to that has light codes in it for your download. All right, this is your download. That's what I just heard. This is your download. So download it. Be open to it. Receive this download. You don't have to. You have free will, but if you wish to. And remember, if you're not quite ready for the download, it will be it will be queued, right? <laughs> when you're ready to receive it because you have to upgrade your s software. Excuse my children. That's what they that's how they get when they play Fortnite. Um it sounds like they're all dying and killing each other out there in real life, but it's it's really in virtual reality world, which is another dimension, right? It's one that we can see in this dimension, but at <clears throat> well dreams too. We see many we visit many dimensions in our dreams, guys. So but we already knew that. I've been having hella dreams lately, guys. Hella dreams, like just amazing dreams, just breathtaking. There is breathtaking beauty that exists on all levels and in all dimensions. You merely have to know where to look. Oops. Yeah, well, we came out in our reading. <gasps> oh, this is the first full moon reading that I did that water appeared. Ah, oh, here's the last one. <laughs> More water. Yay! <laughs> Finally. Finally, guys. <laughs> All right. We've been landlocked. And I don't know how that happened, but, you know, Capricorn is a sneaky, a sneaky sign. Um... <laughs> And there's a huge old stellium happening there still, so not surprised, right? Plus, you know, we have the Virgo full moon. So hanged man, guys. This is like about seeing reality for the way that it really is, you know? <laughs> That's crazy. Yep. King of Wands. Okay. And building something for ourselves. Look, that guy's building something with the with the bones of his uh the bone the bones of his corpse, okay, or I don't know. That sounds really morbid. I mean badass. I I would like to be able to be able to believe that I could build something with my corpse, but, you know, maybe not. Maybe just a skeleton, but it still, you know, it still seems like it should be something that's built, I don't know, rearticulated skeletons. I like them. I'm kind of weird, though. But yeah, build something for yourself, Pisces. And that was the message. Hermit, card of Virgo. So this full moon, oh my gosh. Look at these crazy stalker people, zombies. All right, hang on, let me tap on the thing. See if it focuses. This person is com blissfully unaware <laughs> of all these creepy creepers. I don't know. If I have creepy creepers, I hope that I remain blissfully unaware, please. Otherwise, you're not doing your job properly. No, I'm <laughs> you're not being as creepy as you should. No, I'm kidding. All right, King of Cups. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I am all sorts of goofy today. Ooh. Yeah, what is up with this, man? There's something wrong with this dude. 
And it's not that he's underwater either. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Okay. So maybe we've washed up on shore like giant whales and we need somebody to help push us back into the water. Okay. Landlocked. And it happens sometimes to us, right, Pisces? Especially when we're close to the shore. <laughs> we go too close to the shore and we allow the waves to, to just sort of carry us. And then next thing we know, we're on land and we're hoping that some humans will push us back into the water, right? Hopefully this is making sense to you, Pisces. Six of Cups. Aww, look how cute. She saved him. Aww, she saved him. Okay, same girl. Okay, same girl, pink dress. Same guy. She saved his inner child. She saved him. He's okay. Missing a hand, but not really missing hand. He just needs to re-articulate it because it's like a skeleton flesh hand for zombies, you know. She saved him. How cute. I like it. Okay. Um, that, that can signify uh, the divine feminine side of yourself rescuing you. Because, you know, when you get sick, it's usually your mom who takes care of you and nurtures you back to health, right? Well, that divine feminine side of yourself is the is the part of you that will definitely take care of you. All right? So nurture yourself. All right? You have to save that inner child. Save that inner chi those inner children. All right? They need to be saved. You cannot adult too hard. All right? Oh, sorry. Apparently my children's inner demons are coming out. Oh no, I might have to make them turn off Fortnite so that they can cool down for a little while. <laughs> uh, Alright, I love you guys. Happy birthday. Um, I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye.